As a machine operator, you're considered to be a road user, and therefore you're obliged to know and follow local regulations and national traffic regulations. These regulations and laws can vary depending on location. Before operating the machine on public roads, it's important to know the dimensions of the machine, especially when it comes to weight, height, and illumination. For on-road traveling, use only the T mode. Make sure that the blade and outriggers are in the upper position. Adjust your attachment to not exceed height and front extension. Curl the emptied bucket to the machine and maintain free space to the ground. When T-Mode is selected, but the superstructure and the undercarriage are not completely aligned, the designated control symbol is flashing in the display. When aligned, the hydraulic control levers are not supplied with pilot pressure to avoid unintentional hydraulic movements during driving. Make sure that the pivot axle lock function is deactivated. If the symbol is yellow, it will be deactivated automatically when you raise the control lockout lever. Be familiar and confident with all travel controls, like the direction switch on the right joystick, the travel speed switch, cruise control, as well as the travel pedal and the service brake. To achieve fuel efficient traveling, it's highly recommended to enable echo mode before starting to drive. Operate the machine always with foresight and caution. Always operate the machine in its natural direction of travel. Be careful when entering a public road. If needed, use the help of a co-worker. A useful option for traveling on public roads is the cruise control function. Easily approach your preferred speed and press the button on the right-hand control console. The machine will automatically hold the speed and you can focus fully on the traffic. Make sure it's safe to move the machine. Use the cameras, if installed, and the mirrors, especially during slewing and when driving backwards. Use the monitor as a camera screen just by pushing a button. Push the button a second time and the optional side view camera will be the second camera on the screen. With a third push of the camera button, it will display both cameras at the same time on the divided monitor screen. Driving off-road, it's normal to use the first or second machine gear for off-road. The third gear is intended for on-road driving. When carrying something in the bucket or with the boom, it's highly recommended to use the first gear with the snail symbol, particularly if it's a heavy weight. Choose and switch the gears with the gear selector switch on the right-hand console. The boom suspension system is a new option for the wheeled excavators and absorbs shocks when traveling across uneven ground. This increases the operator comfort and stability of the machine. The function needs to be activated via a push button switch on the right hand console. After activation, the electronics will prepare the system. As long as that is in progress, the boom suspension symbol will be yellow in the display. When the system is ready and operational, the symbol will change to green. When the operator is operating in W and C mode, faster than 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles per hour, the boom suspension is active and will absorb shocks. Please be aware that with an active boom suspension system, the boom and your attachment can move slightly. So take care to consider your maximum machine height at narrow sites or on public roads in particular. When driving down a slope steeper than 12 degrees, select the same gear as you would if you were driving up the same slope. It's always recommended to use the service brake or to shift to the next lower gear when traveling downhill. Important, when applying the service brake, both the service brake pedal and the digging brake release lever must be depressed together. Otherwise, the digging brake may be engaged, locking all the wheels. When traveling off-road, make sure the front axle is unlocked and the bucket is as close as possible to the front axle. The front axle is an oscillating axle, which can absorb obstacles and uneven ground, providing much better stability. 
Be familiar with the machine dimensions and the ground material, trying to avoid an extremely uneven or rough ground. If necessary, when about to use the track several times, consider using your bucket to prepare the ground for better and safer driving. Make sure to have good visibility and overview of the work and driving area. If needed, ask a coworker to support you by giving signs in unclear or confusing areas. Nobody else should be working in the risk area of the machine. It's important to know your machine dimensions and the local regulations. Make a proper mirror adjustment for the best possible view and vision and make sure the front oscillating axle in the front is unlocked. The oscillating axle will absorb uneven ground and obstacles in every gear for a higher operation comfort and safety. For the same reason, check the lights, buckle up, and adjust the steering column to provide a better view of your workspace. Operate the machine in a safe way. The regular traffic is faster, so be aware that you drive on the side of the street. Use the echo mode to achieve a higher efficiency. Operate the machine carefully and be prepared for sudden stops 